Some early transfer news leading up to the winter window. The question is, do we need this player? Here's my opinion. Will the club go shopping in the winter window? Not too long to find out. Here's my opinion. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Behind Closed Doors. Don't know what number it is. Seems like a long time since I've done one of these videos. Um, some early transfer news. It broke yesterday through Richard Cowley and Jake Sanders that Millwall are interested in young Arsenal 20-year-old striker Flanagan Bannigan. I will not say the name again. I really don't know him. Um, I don't like to say his name, but all I do know is... If you if you're from Arsenal, you've got to be uh, you got to be a good player. And really, come on, let's be real. Um, Flanagan Bannigan, how you say his name, I do not know. But if he comes down south in January, we we'll, we'll soon learn that. But what do we know about him? Not a lot, precisely. Um, I do know that he original he was originally born in America. He come over to England. He had the chance to um, play for either America or England. He is now chosen to obviously play for England. He turned professional in 2020, I do believe, um, for Arsenal. But what do we really know about him? Apparently, he's their top goal scorer in the under-21s Arsenal team. Um, he has played with Danny Ballard. Um, so does that mean Danny Ballard might persuade him to come down here for a couple of, um, for a few months to the end of the season? Um, who knows? But, but he, I've got, I am a little bit excited about this potential signing. But, Balligan, if you are listening, mate, it's men's football now, mate. You will get kicked, you will get prodded, you will get beat up, you will come off that pitch black and blue. But does our style of football suit someone like that from... Brannigan or Balligan or whatever his name is um, I don't think it does because he's going to be playing up front on his own he's going to at times be a little bit eager to impress so he's going to be coming to find the ball um, so that means we might not have any strikers up there because he's dropping too deep to impress to come and get the ball so does it really suit us? does he really suit us? I'm not too sure um, would I take him? yes only because it's another body in the attacking areas. But do we need him? I'm not too sure we do. I'm not too sure we do. We've got Isaac Tantar Lafe. He is our player, out on loan, smashing the gaff up for Sutton at every single level he's been at. Bring him back, nurture him, throw him in the deep end and see where he can swim. That's just my opinion. Um, you may have some other opinions, drop them down below in the comments. But listen, he's a good player. He's got to be a good player to play for Arsenal. Um, I think he's got 15 or 6... I may be completely wrong with this. 15 or 16 goals in about 20 games or something. Um, but yeah, he's played with he's played with um, um, Danny before, apparently. Um, yeah, so he looks like a decent little player. Um, would I take him... <sighs> Yes, but I wouldn't, I I would take him, but I wouldn't take him, only for the fact that we've got Isaac Tanto and Afe, but I would take him, just for the pure fact that we need to find someone that knows how to flip and put the ball in the back of the net. Will Brannigan be that? I'm not holding any high hope for it, because we've been down this road before, through Arsenal's North London brutal rivals, Tottenham, and... Um, Troy Power. I when Troy come to the club, we all jumped on the height train, including me. I thought he was going to get us twenty five to thirty goals and be that missing piece of the puzzle. Nothing to say Bannigan couldn't do it. Um, I hope he does. If he comes to the club, I hope you do. I hope you flip and smash it, Bannigan. I really, really do. Cause we we need your help. Um, but I ain't gonna judge him. I ain't gonna say no. I ain't gonna say yes. I'm on the fence. I would take him because, like I said, it's another body. But does this mean we're going to be losing in January someone like, um, well, Bod's already done. 
and Bod's already on the way to the airport, don't care where he goes, he's useless, so don't worry about them. But does this actually mean we could actually potentially be losing someone like Brothers or Smudge? Possibly. We have um, Mason Bennett can play in them forward areas. Um, Ogre, I'm sure, can play in them forward areas. Jake can play in them forward areas. But we do need an out and out number nine, don't we? We need to find someone that can knows how to put the ball in the back of the net. It's going to be hard for him to adjust to our slower play. But um, let's see what the club do. I am going to back him if they decide to go for Bannigan, all the best. I hope he flipping comes in and scores the flipping goals that we need to get into the top six. But yes, we got we got a phobie, we've got some good players in them forward areas, but none of them know how to put the ball in the back of the net on a consistent run you know, on in a consistent on a consistent basis, sorry. So um if Bannigan comes in and does that, I'm all for it. Um I am potentially excited about this signing but listen I'm gonna cut this off here. It looks like Millwall according to Jake Sanders and Richard Cowley are interested in young Arsenal twenty year old striker Bannigan in the January window. Let's see what plans out. Please like, subscribe and comment. Seeing January Bannigan if you decide to come over and out. Coming you lines.